What's up guys? Today I've got a really neat video that I want to bring to you guys and it is a vessel tool haul. We're going to be looking at some of their sockets with their wood compo handles as well as the ball grip screwdrivers as well as some hose removers and some clip removers. So you guys stick around because this one's pretty cool. All right guys, like I said in my intro today, we're gonna to be looking at some tools from Vessel. And if you remember a couple of months back, we did a video on the Megadora screwdrivers. I had a subscriber had sent me a set of these that he ordered off of Amazon and wanted me to check them out. So we did a video and it turned out pretty good. And I actually liked the screwdrivers. Recently, I've become a fan of the Japanese tools. So Vessel reached out to me and offered to send me these tools to show to you guys on the channel and take a look at them. So that's what we're going to do today in this video. Like I say, all of this is a sponsored video. Vessel did send this to me. It's all brand new. We just got it in, we unpackaged it, and we're gonna take a look at it. So without any further ado, let's dive into these. All right guys, like I mentioned, uh, Vessel did send these to me. The first thing we're gonna be looking at is the three-piece hose remover set. We also have a clip remover set, as well as the ball screwdriver with the number two Phillips on it. It is the ratcheting screwdriver. And last, we're going to take a look at the socket set. And this is a really nice kit. You guys that's watched my channel know that I'm a huge fan of these quarter inch sets. I just like them and I'm a ratchet fanatic. And this is their wood compo handle, which is 70% wood, 30% plastic. And we'll take a good close look at this set because this one is pretty interesting. So let's get started. And uh, we'll start with the hose removers first. Like I say, it is a three-piece set. We got a lot of info on the back of them, talking about their Megadora handles. And um, let's get into these things and I'll show you what they look like up close. All right, guys, here they are. It is a three-piece set. The part number is gonna be 970HR3PB. It does have a chrome vandium shank on it, as you see, and it's kind of got the octagon-shaped handle. The black part is a cushion grip that's on these. Um, and this set, it comes with two that almost mirror each other. This one's got a little more turn in, as you see, than the other one. And it's got the pretty much the 90 degree offset that is one of my favorite tools to use when breaking the suction on water hoses and whatnot. But a uh, really nice set. They feel good in your hand, just like the Megador screwdrivers. They're a, you know, a, a nice feeling tool in your hand. So I'm excited to be putting these to use. And this set, um, it runs for $49.99. All the links to these tools will be below to Amazon if you wanna purchase them. But that's the three piece hose remover set. So if you guys haven't, if you don't own a set of hose removers, I highly recommend them. Cause a lot of times using a flathead screw driver, you know, when you put it in there, you'll twist it back and forth. A lot of times you'll tear the hose. When the point on this can actually be like if, let's say your radiator hose is here, your radiator's here, you got the, the nipple on the radiator and the hose slides up on it. You can take this and kind of push it between the hose and that nipple and rock it back and forth. And most of the time, all you have to do is break the suction and you can work it around the hose to get it loose and wiggle it back and forth and it'll allow you to get the hose off without damaging it. Works great on cold air to air boots, um, charge air cooler boots, radiator hoses, heater hoses, you name it. These are fabulous to have around the shop. 
you'll find a ton of uses for these. If you don't have a set, check them out. All right, so the next set that I want to talk to you about that they sent is the uh, clip removal tool. Um, these things are fantastic. We've all been there where we tried to get the little mushroom or the Christmas tree clips out and it's a pain in the butt to get them loose. Most of the time you'll end up breaking them if you use a pair of pliers. And um, these things will save the day. This is the two piece set. Um, as you can see the difference in the end of it. The longer one does have a wider you know, clip remover than the shorter one. So it's um, you know, a pretty good combo. And it's got the angle so you can get under the clip and you press down on it to pull them up. Same handle design with the octagon shape with the rubber, the black part is the softer rubber of the two. And um, this two piece set, the part number is a 970CR25C. And that is $21 on Amazon. You can check these out. Like I say, it's nice to have both of them getting behind door um, panels to pop that loose. Pretty much any kind of plastic trim that's in vehicles that we use today. And a lot of times they use the little hose clamps that's got the Christmas tree on the back where you have to pop it loose. Same way with electrical connectors. They have the same kind of thing just to keep them up out of the way. These are going to come in handy to keep from breaking them off. Because like I say, if you use pliers, most of the time you twist it back and forth and it breaks off. And the little stem stays in the door or the hood or whatever you're working with and you, you got problems. You know, it's not going back together. You're going to, have to buy new clips. We're purchasing these will allow you to take them out and also be able to reuse them. So take a look at these if you don't have any clip removers. The next thing we're going to take a look at, um, and this is new to me, like I say, Vessel sent it to me and I've never actually seen one or held one before. And it is their ratcheting ball screwdriver. Um, I was a little on the fence when I first got this because I thought, you know, I'm used to this type of a screwdriver handle where you grab it and you twist it back and forth here. And uh, I played with this for a little bit and I actually like it. This one, the part number on this one is a 2200P2100. It's a number two Phillips and it is a magnetic tip. Uh, it has the re forward and reverse here on the gray collar where you can change directions. Or you can lock it in the middle and it will be locked either way. But it's 36 teeth that's inside of this. Uh, it's got a rubber cushion textured ring here on the end. Feels pretty good in your hand. You know, I actually you know, I'm a fan of it. You know, it's got these two indentions on each side where you put your thumb if you want to hold it this way or you can just grip it with the palm of your hand. It actually feels pretty good. I've never seen this design before and it's something cool, something different, and I actually like it. But this, the prices are kind of all over the place on Amazon on this one. With a gray ring, it runs $27.95. And they also have one that has a yellow ring and it is $16.99. It shows a difference of 13 different colors, so maybe that has something to do with the price. I don't know, they're all ratcheting, they're all number two Phillips, and they also have different links. But the links are below if you wanna check these out because it's something different, never seen them before, and I kinda like it. All right, so the last thing we're gonna be taking a look at today is the quarter inch set that I talked to you about earlier. This part number on this set is a HRW001M dash W it does come in a plastic case, which is very nice. It does have a lock on it and it is a rubber textured on all the corners and the top. So when you open it up, what's cool, it's got all the parts describing which ones are which in here. And the sockets are a six point quarter inch drive satin finish. Well, it's kind of a blend between a Satin and a lightly polished chrome, I guess, would be the, the better terminology to use. And it does have the knurling around it, so it will help you grab it. Pretty nice socket set. The sizes run from a 4 to a 14. No skip sizes. Zero skip sizes, which is always a plus. It has two different uh, 
flat heads in it, three different Phillips. It has a number one, number two, and number three. And it's got some hex bits from a 1.5 up to a five millimeter. And the Torx is a T15, T20, T25, T27, T30, T40. So it's a pretty good selection of bits that it comes with. And the ratchet is a really nice ratchet. As you see, it's got a super ultra compact head. It is a quick release ratchet. As you can see, I'm gonna mash the button. Very nice small headed ratchet to get in tight places. And like I mentioned, it is the non-slip wood compo, which is 70% wood, 30% plastic. I'll put a screenshot up here where you can kind of see how they come up with the design of this. It's pretty cool. It's supposed to allow for a non-slip grip and only 3% torque loss from really greasy situations. But it's an extra fine ratchet. Quick release, feels good in the hand. I like the way it feels, very nice ratchet. And it also comes with the super stubby. Um, it's got a quarter inch drive on the end. Screwdriver slash bit driver, whatever. Comes with an extension so you can put it on there. Put the bit adapter on it. Grab the number two Phillips and you've got pretty much a ball screwdriver to use or torques or whatever you decide bitwise to put in the bit driver is there for you. Uh, I really like this kit. The foam's cut out nice. It's not super tight, but it's tight enough to hold it. It's a really nice kit. And it does also come with a universal, as you can see, really nice. This thing's gonna come in handy. Um, I've already got plans to put this in one of my vehicles. Really nice kit. And this kit lists for $109.71 off of Amazon. The links will be below where you guys can take a look at that if you're interested. Really nice kit. I like the way, you know, it folds up the case. Super awesome. Like I say, all of these will be linked below to Amazon if you want to take a look at them or purchase these and just learn a little bit more about it. Like I say, they are all made in Japan. I become a fan of the Japanese tools. They put a lot of different quality that a lot of times we overlook here in America. And I like the way they feel, I like the way they fit, and I like the way they function. So far, I've had zero complaints with any of the Japanese tools that I own. And you know, that runs back from engineer brand to the vampire brand to uh, of course the first vessel screwdrivers I had. I've got some Nepro stuff that I absolutely love and some KTC tools. Uh, I mean, just some, they're really good quality. So like always guys, that's my video today. Check out some of this vessel stuff. I don't think you'll be disappointed at all. Like always, if you like it, hit that thumbs up and click that subscribe button. It's totally free. Never cost you guys a dime. Y'all have a great week and we will catch y'all next time. See ya.